I hope that makes sense to you like that. So what we're trying to do is work out the angle, and I don't have another colour, so let's, we're trying to work out this angle here at the, between the two vectors themselves. Now you look, you, can, you know yourself, that's 140 degrees, but they're after giving you a, they're after giving you a, they're after giving you a formula. So we're going to use that, and we said the slope means tan, so very quickly what we're going to do is plug the formula, or plug our values into the formula. So say tan delta, tan delta is equal to what? Is equal to plus or minus, and just ignore everything else, m1, so the slope of, just pick, just pick one, it doesn't matter which one you pick first, so 150, Right, so the tan of 150 is um, minus 0 0.57. Uh, the tan of 7 is equal to 0 0.12 over 1 plus um, over 1 plus minus 0 0.57 times 0 0.12, like that. So uh, we have minus. 0.57 we have minus 0.69 over over that so we go minus 0.69 minus 0.69 divided by 0 0.93 is equal to what? is equal to uh, minus 0 0.74 so we know that tan delta is equal to plus or minus that just do very quickly we'll go inverse tan of that, that angle and we're going to get an angle of 36 degrees why do we get 36 degrees? because plus or minus so let me think now, the answer is uh, plus or minus three quarters, which is correct, because that's three quarters there. So I've done all of it, except the very last part, which says, if the vector P is mapped onto the vector Q by an anti-clockwise rotation through theta degrees, find theta to the nearest degree. Okay. So, let's just, let's just think about this a small bit. The best way to approach this is to think about it. First of all, let's read the question. It says, it's going through a rotation and it's going anti-clockwise. Well, if there's your clock, okay, if there's your clock, then if this way is clockwise, remember you have 12, 1, 2, 3, that's clockwise. And anti-clockwise then, of course, would be opposite to that. So instead of going this way, it's going this way like that. And that's anti-clockwise. So in the case of our diagram, we're going this way. So as you look, we're going from right to left up in the top left to right at the bottom. All right, that is anti-clockwise. And we're going through a rotation of theta degrees. And what does that mean? Well, if you're rotating something, if this will draw our, our plane again, okay? So if I want to turn something, if I if here's my if here's a, an object here, and if I want to turn it, well I'll put it through an angle like that. It's like a uh, actually let's let, 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 let's ignore that. Let's look at my biro. There's my biro there. There you can see that. Now if I want to turn my biro, I will rotate it. So that's rotating it. Okay, that's turning it. And each time it's going through a 360 degree turn. If it goes through a full rotation. So a full rotation would be from where it is now, rotate it fully until it's back to the same position again. That is a 360 degree full rotation. So the question is, so the thing is, if it doesn't go through 360 degrees, it goes through uh, something else. So let's we'll say if I turn it this way, it's gone through a 90 degree rotation. How do you know that? Well, that's the vector that points the direction that it currently is in. If I turn it this way, it's going that direction, and the angle there is 90 degrees. If I turn it this way, it's after going through a 180 degree rotation, like that. If we go again, it's after going through a 270 degree rotation, and if it turned once again to another 90 degrees, it goes through a full rotation of 360 degrees. So what we're asking here is, we have two vectors. We have two vectors. We have the vector P and the vector Q. So P is this one here, and Q is this one here. And we're asked if, if 
we basically, if you ever asked P being mapped onto Q, so you want them P to be in the same position as Q, you want to turn it such that it lies on top of it. So if I have, there's my Cartesian plane, and I have a vector here. Now, say for example my biro is also a vector. Now if I want to map my vector uh, P, which is my biro, onto the vector Q, which I've, I've drawn, I'll have to rotate P through an angle to get onto Q. What's the angle? The angle is this here. That's the angle of theta. So that's what they're asking us to do. We're mapping them onto each other so they're facing the exact same direction. So, we're moving P here onto Q going anti-clockwise. Well, that's quite simple. If you look at it, the, what, is the, what is the angle between the two of them? The angle between the two of them is 143 degrees. So, what's the angle of rotation? Well, I have to move P by 140 degrees anti-clockwise and for it, for it to be mapped onto vector Q. So, uh, that's the final part of question 8. Once again, please subscribe to my channel. Pass this video on to, uh, on to your friends if you find it helpful and I hope, uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching.